What's going on guys? Good morning. Welcome back to the vlog. Hope everyone's having a good day. So today's a little crappy. Poor car. It's all rained on. Anyways, the sky is all, yeah, like that. But that's okay because this is in here. But anyways, my buddy Mike is going to be coming over tomorrow and he'll be detailing maybe, maybe the GTR, but he's washing my mom's car, my dad's truck, and then Brian's Ferrari. So definitely be cool tomorrow. Since I am going out with the guys tomorrow, I need to go get some special fuel. That's gonna be expensive. But yeah. Oh, there's fingerprints all over my dick. That's one thing I hate. That's the worst thing. Like, especially as soon as I get my car clean and people touch my car, it bugs me to no end. I hate fingerprints. The best way to close the door, using these guys. They don't leave fingerprints really. Close it like that or stay on this little pad. But Anyways, uh, my girlfriend's gonna head over. She's gonna come get me because I can't take the car. Um, so that's why I have the jug because I'm gonna go get the fuel. I'm gonna go get my aunt, run errands, go get a haircut. My hair is fucked, but whatever hair I have left. But anyways, I'm gonna go get a haircut, go shopping, take my aunt, pay some insurance for this. And yeah, basically just some bills and another boring day. But anyways, guys, let's go. What's up? All right, so I just got one question. I'm very, very curious, guys. So out of a Bugatti, uh, whatever one you guys like, you like the Chiron or the Veyron, whatever you like, or the Koniasek, which one would you guys pick? You're all in the million dollar range regardless. Um, I personally would love a Koniasek. I love the key. I, I just, everything about it, the body on the, the Koniasek, the, how the doors open. Uh, I feel like the doors on a Koniasek open insane. Like I've never seen a door like that. I mean, yes, you'd see the uh, McLaren, the McLaren, the doors open. I mean, they, they're nice, they're really, really, really nice doors. The car is absolutely amazing. But, I mean, you're spending $2 million on a Bugatti and the doors open regular. That's like a Huracan. I mean, you're spending a lot of, that's, I, that's my absolute dream car is a Huracan. But, I don't know, I mean, the doors open normal or I can get, you know something the doors go up so would i rather get a huracan or a mclaren i mean oh just putting the car out there and doing like a photo shoot and having the doors go up i mean that'd be kind of cool so i don't know guys it, it's it's a dream so i'll end up either getting rid of this or i'd end up depending on financials at the time i'm planning on getting the lamborghini by the age of 25 so give this to my girlfriend, have it paid off completely, give it to my girlfriend, or sell it and use this plus extra cash for a down payment for the Huracan. Anyways, if you guys do not know what a Koniasek is, I'll put a picture right here so you guys can see what it is. And I'll post a picture of what my dream car would love, like what it would it be, um, the Huracan Profamante, or I don't, know, I don't even know how you say it, but it's absolutely amazing. So I'll go ahead and post the picture as well. If you guys would like to see other things as well, follow my live me right here. It's the same as my Instagram. Follow me on both and stay tuned for everything. Let's go. What's up guys? So right now we're about to head out. Just got done with shopping. I have my aunt, my girlfriend back here. So getting done here, I'm gonna head over next door and go get my haircut done. So yeah. My aunt loves seafood, Ugh, I can't stand it. She makes sushi and everything else, I can't do it. I'm part Japanese, but I don't really like seafood as much as, I mean, I should, I guess. All right, let's go. There is no version of this where you come out on top. Let me infiltrate the beat, concentrate the heat. If you ain't on my level. What's up, guys? I just got done with my haircut. Hell yeah, boy. Looking good. So the only person I like going to is Amber over here at Uppercuts. White Lane right next to Superior. She does a great job, guys. So she ended up doing my aunt's hair. She did a trim. And then I ended up doing my only style. It's like a it's like a faux hawk. So basically it's like a mohawk. And then it's blended in on the sides and it's shaved pretty short on the other sides. So I don't know. If you guys come in, tell her if you guys like it, you guys can have it done the same. Just tell her it's just like mine. And she'll know who exactly who I am. Anyways, yeah. On the way, drop off my aunt and then go get some lunch. Let's go.
dude that I get to my losing myself in the view that's some window pain. So we just dropped my aunt off, heading home right now, and then definitely need to go grab some food. It's about four o'clock in the afternoon and stuff, and eat nothing yet. I'm starving. So let's grab a late start to the day. I love. Anyways, um, yeah, we're probably gonna grab some lunch and then hopefully we can kind of do some fun for you guys. Today, like I said, is a slow day. It's another one of those days, guys. But that Evo was sick, boy. So if you guys have cars that you guys like, or if you guys basically post your cars down below, I'd like to see them. Or tag my Instagram, which is right here. Tag me on your on your car. I'd like to see what you guys got. Um, I like Evos. I like Subarus, BMWs. I like all types of cars, guys. So yeah, post what you got, and then yeah, let me know. Let's go. What's up, guys? So my buddy just came by. He's like, "Oh, bro, I want you to try something. I want you to try something. Show me, show me the bag that you showed me." So show the label, the, the label's ripped off. So I was wondering something. So this one has the label. So on here it has the Scorpion Pepper, the Ghost Pepper, and then the Carolina Reaper. Man, it's just hot. So there's two big pieces in here. We're gonna end up doing a competition. You wanna do it today or what? I don't know, maybe. So I guess we might do it today. And that's insane. But hit up, hit up. Jibs beef jerky. If you guys didn't want anything. He's he's local in Bakersfield. I'm definitely gonna hit him up. I definitely want some. This thing is insanely hot. You get you get hit him up and then tell him to make you personally a hotter batch than this. Oh fuck you really that. Want to. This guy came up and he gave me like a little like a little piece. Well, he gave me like one like this. I was like, bro, I want bigger because I'm a big guy. I didn't know what it was. I, you know, I love beef jerky. So he goes, all right, gave me a you know a bigger piece. I ate it, and he goes, oh, he goes, you better eat it. My mouth's still like, honestly, dude, the it just it's hot, but it's really really good. We have to so. eat a piece for YouTube now. Fuck it. Bigger. Go bigger, go home. You gotta go do it too. Yeah. Half of that? <laughs> no, not that big. But... Why? Too hot? But as you guys can see, all the peppers on there. Look at it. You guys can see all the peppers in there. All on the bottom. Just chilling. This is good though. The flavoring until it kicks in. Then it kicks in. That, no, I was eating the first piece. You're the, the only one that I got for to actually eat it again and again. Yeah, I like it. Fuck. Okay, so for guys are watering. The first piece he gave me, I tried it and I was like, yeah, that's just good. So give me another piece. Like so he's like, all right, give me a bigger piece. So I ate it. Woo! And it went right after him. So the flavoring's really good. But you don't have the spice until the very end. Yep. Thank you for this. So I'm definitely gonna try this out. I'm hopefully gonna hit this guy up and get some more from him, try his other flavors that he has. What other flavors does he have, dude? Terry. Oh dude, hell dude, he has other ones too? Oh dude. Oh hell yeah, so look, this is his, what he has. There you go. So this is what he has, guys. So if you guys are interested, hit him up. And here's his social media as well. I'm definitely gonna, I'm gonna get that right there. Tibbs. Yeah, I'm gonna hit him up right now. Um, I'm definitely gonna get some more and I'll let you know how I think. So as of right now, this shit is bomb. One of my favorites. But my mouth don't like it. <laughs> oh, yeah, it ain't gonna be pretty coming out either. Yeah, that shit is good though. But anyways guys, I'll see you guys in a bit. Let's go. What's up guys? So the girly friend wants some ice cream, so we're heading over to Cream Street right now. I'm gonna get the birthday cake. So there yeah, guys. If you guys like ice cream or specialty liquid nitrogen infused ice cream. If you guys like cool ass ice cream, check out Cream Street guys. When you guys go to LA you need to do the Dragon Ball thing. I know. Anyways guys, let's go. I'll see you over there. What's up guys? So right now we are walking up to Kramer Street. Hi babe. It's fine. Kramer Street time. You excited? Yes. Haven't had it in a while, huh? No. <laughs> so, if you guys are interested in having some Kramer Street, it's off California over here. So, hell yeah, we eat the best ice cream in town. Let's go. 
things that I shouldn't have. Yeah. yeah. But I live with no regrets, cause I wouldn't be here if I chose a different path. I've worked so hard, I've worked so thorough. I love my team, I wouldn't trade them for the whole world. But I would trade these groupie bitches in a heartbeat if there was a chance that I could ever have my old girl. My first love, man, I can't believe I lost her. Due to miscellaneous bitches all on my roster. So my advice to all my homies out there with a woman that really cares, don't fuck around, it might cost you. Yeah. Like I said, man, it's no regrets We move forward, stay positive, and hope for the best I'm obsessed, I want it all, dog, and nothing less I'd rather be a dead man than to live with no success So I spit it from deep in my chest All of these inner feelings used to just keep them suppressed Then I wondered why the fuck I would be so depressed And I realized that I really just need to confess So when you hear me on a record, it's to real me I only do it for the people that can feel me And if you wanna hate, then go ahead and feel free But I'ma continue to do this shit until it kills me I've been lost, I've been found, I've been up, I've been down I've been broken, I've been bruised, beaten and abused By a bitch ass motherfucker my mama would choose So before you judge me, be sure that you walk in my shoes I used to sleep out on the streets with a couple sheets Feeling weak, I've gone weeks with nothing to eat But fast forward, just a couple years more Me and my team about to do a nationwide tour In a second I will find that out It's like I forgot everything I ever cried about It gets tough, the road may get a little rough It's all good, homie, you just gotta ride it out I used to walk up on these tracks, now I'm hurtling So my homies will never have to snatch a purse again Yeah, but I know it was truly worth it when I could tell my mama she don't ever have to work again Only 20 years old when she made me Just a baby, with a baby Yeah, I know, girl, I drove y'all crazy Jumping off the walls, going all ADHD Dropping out of school, no job, I was lazy You said I'd end up locked up or pushing up daisies But you know, girl, that ain't how you raised me That was just a phase, I wasn't finna let it phase me Been on a mission just to get it and I got it now They know the name, my fans asking me to jot it down This music shit, you know a nigga all about it now Cause I don't know where the fuck I would be without it now I used to be a bama, I could pop the collar now The girl that used to diss me asking me to call her now I used to look out in the crowd and hear not a sound <laughs> Castro. Yeah. That's what they shouting now I know I may have changed I may have lost my way But every song I've made uh, yeah, What's the blueprint to how I... Alright guys, so we ended up getting our little ice cream, some shakes, whatever. Uh, I told them there was a little, what, what do you call it? Like a cinnamon. Cinnamon toast crunch. Yeah, cinnamon toast crunch. And I wanted it exactly how Burger King did it. So, figuring since Creamy Street is the best ice cream, fresh, absolute the best ice cream. It was better. And they made it for me. Absolute, the best thing I've ever had. So now every time I go to Burger King or get one of those or go anywhere else, I mean, you can't beat it, Creamy Street, guys. So if you haven't had it, definitely try it. If you want something you've had somewhere else, customize it here at Creamy Street and get it done perfectly. It'll be the best thing you've ever had. So let's go. So my girlfriend got the birthday birthday cake. What do you think, baby? Really good. So seeing that smile is always a good thing. The sprinkles. We just got done with Creamy Street. <laughs> we just got done with Creamy Street. We ended up going next door and having Habit Burger. We had a couple fries. I had fries and she had onion rings. Anyways, I love you, Bug Eye. Stop it. You're bug fake. Eye. You're fake vlogging. Bug Eye. This is going. Bug Eye. <laughs> <laughs> Come here. Bug Eye. I love you, Bug Eye. This is going not in the vlog either. <laughs> She's about to bite me. She told me to have a girl model for my GTR. I'd have to propose to her first. No, I said. <laughs> I said if you don't propose to me this year. What bug? Are you? <laughs> <laughs> I said if you don't propose to me this year, yeah. we're, done, we're done. Bug eye. Bug eye. Bye. Let's go, bitch. No. <laughs> I love you. Let's go. I'm quite bold. <laughs> Get it. I'm gonna kick your front door in. I'm gonna kick you in your ass.
What's up guys? So right now we're heading back to the house from Creamer Street, wrapping everything up. I actually ended up meeting with Amir, talking to him for a little while, which is great. You know, it's nice seeing a friend. I haven't seen him in a while. He's been busy, uh, which, I mean, it's a good thing. When you got the best ice cream in Bakersfield, of course, you got to stay busy, you know, guys? Anyways, I just want to get back on here so I can kind of wrap this up for you. Um, what most people don't understand, you guys look at a picture and you guys think... Uh, you guys you guys have your own opinions of things um, you know you see someone walking down the street you assume something um, you see a black man you assume something uh, it just sucks you know people assume so much but they don't just want to really look into really what's going on um, you guys look at me being young and, and you know my car and you think that I'm spoiled or um, daddy's car. And I don't know guys, there's so much that can be said. Uh, it's probably has been said, but it's not true. Um, growing up, I actually didn't start living with my parents till I was 13. I didn't start living, yeah, let's put the, I didn't start living with my parents until the age of 13. Uh, it's actually when I moved back in with my parents. Um, growing up, I didn't care for care to be around them at all uh, I didn't have a good relationship with them um, and see I know I guarantee most of you guys don't, didn't understand that growing up your parents and your family is everything to you um, and being young I didn't really have that support and till this day I still don't I mean now that I'm older yeah I shouldn't have to have it but I mean family is great but you know you guys just don't seem to understand that uh, Depression's everywhere guys everyone goes through a certain stage in their life and honestly I don't need people in my life that had negativity um, I've been through a lot and I don't want to go through it again um, and I come on here every day to kind of show you guys that no matter what you're going through no matter how you feel no matter anything it doesn't it doesn't fucking matter whatever you're going through however you feel change it make it better feel better think better uh, you're going through school you're, you're going through school and you're struggling think that hey you're going to school for one for two you can make it better okay you you learn and just become this completely different person I understand going through school you, you start if you start struggling you're just like man it's hard but the more you study the easier it gets and you, it, the challenge is nothing and then when you get out of school and you're looking for a job, you're looking, then you start looking into a house, you look into, you know, working at McDonald's, now it's $11 an hour, hourly. Um, you work a, a full month, you, your check's barely $2,000, and the house that you're wanting is like a $300,000 house. How is that possible? Now, if you take it this way, your house is like a $200,000, $300,000 house, but you're working there, which is completely fine. Now, you work there for three years, save up your money, the more you, how do I put this? The more that you save, the easier it is. The more you put down, the less that you have to pay. It just, it makes everything easier. I, I don't understand, guys, it's hard to explain. Uh, when I was looking at buying my car, I wanted a brand new one in the very beginning. And it was like a hundred and, I'd say about $130,000, $140,000. Um, which some dealerships, they mark it up higher. So, I mean, it was, I mean, it was more expensive. I was paying like twenty to thirty thousand dollars more for the car, depending where I was. And this is in Fairfield, and they the guy wanted twenty grand down, and my payments would be twelve hundred a month. And twelve hundred a month is not that bad. I mean, it, it's a lot of money. But now twenty grand. What if I bumped it up a little bit more? Thirty, forty thousand dollars. Yes, it is a lot of money, but it's just saving. Okay, so it's just break things down guys think about things in a, a completely different way I promise it makes things easier uh, I don't want people to feel down because they, they look at stuff and it's just like I can't have that if you have that I can't attitude if you have the negative attitude I promise you you'll never make it you'll never actually who am I to say who am I to say anything to you, you know it's just gonna be harder for you guys just say it that way um, no matter what you do in life as long as you think that you're doing something positive, you're fine. Don't ever look at anything negative. Um, 
just keep moving forward every day guys do me one favor no matter how you feel right now smile think of something positive think of an old memory think of something great in life um, and yeah tomorrow is a whole new day guys think of that tomorrow is a great day tomorrow's a whole new day it's a new start every day guys no matter what so the past is the past and you got the future to live and let's make it a great one so in the meantime stay positive stay motivated and like always i'll see you guys tomorrow peace